So, Ella, what do you think about your song tonight? Um, I'm really happy with it. I think, um, I don't know, I walked into this meet and really tried to give myself the best opportunity to show everyone, everyone what I could do, and I think I've been really at peace with the outcome of my races before I even do them, and I know that I have really good training behind me, and um, just kind of trusted myself every lap that I've swum. What was that like in the 400 I am? Obviously, big breaststroke split, and first of all, was that the kind of the plan to really attack the breaststroke? And then what was it like when you turned for the free and you knew, like, hey, this is this is really special? Um, I definitely knew where I should be um, if I wanted to get my hand on the wall first. Um, swimming that race, like, next to Katie is always, like, terrifying, and she knows that I think that it is. Like, she's the best freestyle in the, in the world, and um, she is really good at all the other strokes, too. So... Um, we've gone back and forth on this, and it's been really fun, but um, I definitely, that was the best breaststroke split I've ever had, um, by far, actually, I think by two and a half seconds, so <laughs> maybe where the entire drop came from, I guess, but I was swimming afraid, but swimming excited. So how'd you balance that? <sighs> Just tried to, like, keep moving forward and not think about the pain or anything else other than, like, just keep pushing. What was that last hundred like? Um, it was fun. I've never, I don't know, the 400 IM is a really tough race, and I had a really enjoyable experience with it today, and I'm hoping that, like, helps me moving forward, so. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think you can. Okay, okay. Well, um, we'll go real quick. Um, you touched the wall. That reaction a little bit more. Last night was kind of just big fist pump. Tonight was more of a splash, you know, just everything. Kind of compare how you felt after the two races, the different forms of satisfaction you were feeling each time. It's always different. I think, I mean, the 200 IM um, is a shorter race and <laughs> like there's a lot more relief when you finish the 400 IM, like yeah. no matter what the outcome is. Um, I don't know like it, it did feel pretty similar but I think that after the summer that I had like my experience with the 400 IM um, I just was really kind of proud of how I approached it and um, followed through with everything that I've been working for um, so I think it was like a lot more of a moment of relief versus mm -hmm. celebration um, okay. but I think Even that 354 yeah I mean it was definitely a celebration but I had never I didn't actually have a goal time in mind okay. um, so like being at that spot is definitely something that I'm excited about now, but it wasn't necessarily my goal going into it. Like I knew that um, Katie and I were in a really good position to go one, two for our team. And um, that's like kind of what we set out to do. So it was good to finish it that way. So Caleb Dressel says that when he trains I am, he gets whooped. Do you get whooped in practice ever? Oh, yeah, I am but... one of the worst trainers that exists. Um, I don't know if I just don't recover or what it is, but you would never guess that I'd be good at the 400 IM if you watched one of our practices. Um, I think that that's something that I've definitely had to um, work with in terms of my confidence, knowing that Brooke and Allie and um, Katie and everyone that I train with, um, they swim so much better than I do on a daily basis. And I've really had to learn to trust myself and know that like I'm a racer and when Greg gets me ready and prepares me to swim to the best of my ability, like I'm able to do that. What was your conversation like with Katie after that race? It's obviously not the race she was hoping for, but she's happy for you as a teammate. Yeah. Um, like, she did seem really happy for me, and it was great for us to go 1-2. Like, that's a lot of points. Um, and I think that, like, I don't know. She's also very new to the event. Like, this is something that I've done for a little bit longer. And I think that maybe, like, she's still definitely trying to, like, figure out how exactly to pace it. And she's definitely going to come back one day and beat me again. We'll go back and forth. But, um, yeah, it's just a lot of excitement for the yeah. team as a whole. Um, you mentioned thinking about a little bit about last summer, and I know it's not something you like to think about, but did that kind of creep in over the past couple weeks, especially when you're, you know, you're sick, and that makes it harder to swim a 400 IM. Is that something that kind of creeped in a little bit, and do you think you really flushed that all out permanently tonight? Um, <clears throat> I mean, it's short course, and I'm definitely more comfortable swimming yeah. short course. Um, 
I wouldn't necessarily say that it creeped into my mind because what I did is what exactly what I wanted to do, um, regardless of whether I was named to the world champ team or not. Um, I went out and swam like the best runner I am I ever did and knew that all that training that I did the year leading up to that was still with me um, and including the training that I've done over the last six months and yeah. that was actually something that I could only draw confidence from. Yeah. Um, where are you guys, real quick, Brooke, getting under four minutes, joining a pretty exclusive club, three under four in one race, That yeah. you, you have such a big smile on your face. What's that been like watching her grow into this swimmer this year? It's so much fun. Um, she, like, since the very first day that she stepped on the pool deck has pushed me um, every single set that we do, every single practice. Um, and I told her right, bef right before we went to pack 12s I was like, you're going to break four minutes. And she's like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I don't know if I will. And I was like, Brooke, like, you're capable of going so fast. You need to, like, trust yourself. And I actually didn't see the time that she went until we were up on the podium. And I, like, look over. Um, I, like, hit Katie. I'm like, oh, my God, Brooke broke four minutes. Like, I told her she was going to. Um, so it's been so much fun. Like, she, um, I think, has definitely grown a lot. And I think, like, as she learns – um, to trust herself even more, like she's gonna be an incredible um, NCAA and US swimmer. So, what's it feel like to go to bed tonight knowing you've crushed American records in both IMs? You have another night you're really good at tomorrow, and your team is about to cruise to an NCAA title. Like, I really can't think of, you know, I guess it's gonna be hard to sleep tonight. Yeah, I actually have a really hard time sleeping throughout this entire meet. Um, take lots of Advil PM just to try to <laughs> calm down. Um, this morning was hard too when we started early. Yep. Um, knowing that I, when I got back to my hotel, it was like less than 12 hours before I had to be doing my 400 IM prelim. Um, but I definitely try to like appreciate the moment, like think about it before I go to sleep and try to relax as much as possible because we still have a lot of work to do. What motivates you in such a tough and close race as that I am? I think because this meet is all about swimming for your team, um, it's really easy to find confidence and motivation in everyone around you. My team is swimming so well, and knowing that those are the people that I swim with every single day, and we suffer together, we have fun together, they're like my best friends, and um, they're the ones that I'm swimming for. Um, it's a lot easy, easier to swim for them than it is for myself, um, and knowing all the hard work that we've put in over the past six months is exactly where I draw my confidence from. Thanks, Ella. Congratulations. Yeah.